Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of uh, Let's Build Dodge Fuel Mark 2. So today we're going to be building the rest of the train station hopefully. Because in the last video we built these platforms here. And uh, off camera like I said I was going to, I did actually go and paste in uh, a train. Now this, uh, some people uh, maybe might recognize. Uh, this is my Chilton train from uh, season 3 I believe? Um, of uh, Let's Build a City. So, um, yeah, pretty happy to uh, to uh, see that in this world again, because it, it's a nice design. I really like the design. It's just, you know, I haven't had a place to use it in a while, but yeah, it's nice to have, uh, have back in the world. Um, anyways, so, I guess let's get to work with uh, whatever we're going to be doing here. So I'm thinking uh, on the center here we're obviously going to have this is going to be where you get onto the platform from. Uh, so we're going to use bricks because I'm going to go for tra quite a traditional sort of English um, uh, sort of Victorian, I don't want to be Victorian, but sort of I guess early 1900s um, train station. Just quite hard to get the design right on those sometimes. Um, so what I'm thinking is we put in the corners of stuff we're gonna have this cut sensor. I think we're gonna do something a bit like that. So we'll just go and do the same on this side as well. So it's one, two, three, four, and then uh, it goes up like that. And I'll just put uh, some cut sandstone on the end there. I think that works out pretty well. Uh, so uh, what we need to do is we need some barriers. So what I'm just going to what I'm just going to do is grab that and that, and uh, we're going to have a uh, deep slate wall like that, and then we're going to have one like that. Or should we actually? Because either way, it's going to have one of those in it, right? Because that's like the gate. Yeah, yeah, no, that should be like that. Because this is like so you'd scan you. Waste card or put your new ticket on that on uh, Java. Uh, but yeah, you'd scan your uh, waste card or use your ticket on like that part there, and then that would open and let you through. Um, so that works out pretty nicely, and I'm cool with that. Uh, so let's uh, on the bottom of this window, let's put in these uh, cut sandstone, and then we can put in some glass. Uh, above that glass panes. I'm already using glass panes. Already in momentary. So put some of those in. See what that looks like because uh, I might want to switch it out for like same glass, but no I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, so let's as well grab the uh, brick stairs. We'll put those in here. Just to give that a little bit of extra detail. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Uh, we'll do the same here. Just to uh, once again give that little bit of extra detail. But I'm thinking that's that's pretty good. So what we'll do here is we'll just go, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll say there's like a fictional middle here. So one, and then one, two, three, four, five, so eleven total. And then we'll uh, bring the cut sandstone up like that. And then I'm pretty much just going to copy paste. I say by pretty much, I mean literally just going to copy by uh, copy paste. So let's do slash slash copy slash slash ro uh, rotate uh, 180. And then should be here. And then just do a slash slash paste. E, there we go. Perfect. And then this will be slash slash set bricks. That's English. Bricks. There we go. And we'll do the same this side as well. It's got that sort of nice, uh, nice shape going on. So. Uh, what I'm thinking here is we have um, this platform extend back a little bit. So let's go and uh, uh, break some of this part, and then we'll have that can uh, come around there. So 
there we go, I think that will look quite cool. So we'll send that out, uh, let's go with four back. Um, so that will uh, extend out the platform, allow me to put a little bit of uh, extra details in there. And then uh, we can do some uh, some cool stuff with that. Let's uh, grab the stone brick stairs and just do that. And we'll use the same design that we did uh, over here. There we go. And right in there. Cool. So uh, let's actually maybe it'd be a good idea to just have this uh, run along here too. Looks good to me. And the break of the stone bricks, I'll just look like that. There we go. Okay, and then, so what we're going to have, because this is quite a common thing, and at least in transitions I've been to, um, what we'll have is a fence going around here. So let's properly uh, build up a nice little fence and divide it into uh, each one of these uh, bits here. Oops. There we go. And too high, and then we're going to put a bit of string on top of these uh, pillars so they're not completely flat. And like that. And let's grab a bit of string. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, a car park uh, behind it. So you can just sort of see whether there's a train coming in or not. There we go. I think it looks better because it's got this little point on the top. Um, so I think that's fine. Now let's work on something with this. So I think what will look quite nice is if I use a mix of let's just say rooted dirt, or if maybe I just use rooted dirt. Now I know it's in a completely different resource pack, um, and it doesn't really fit that well, but I think it looks good enough, right? So we're just going to use that for now. Um, so that will come around like that. Like a bit like that. Cool. And we'll have that go to there. Get those, put that in there. Cool. Now this will be where the uh, where the actual parking spaces are going to come out here. So let's uh, find the white wall and the black wall. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh wait, no, actually, we're gonna have a bit of stone in between. Just to divide it up. Okay, there we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And okay, we'll move that over one actually. It's now better sort of tucked away in here. Okay, then we can just bring those out to here. And nice and easy, we can just do the replace uh, function just to finish it off. So I'll do that there, and then we'll have like, sort of striped uh, lines like that. And then actually, maybe we'll do them the other way so like, you know, corners aren't affected. Yeah, I think that looks better. And so let's just grab that to that. And slash slash uh, replace two with black small wall. There we go. So that gives you the uh, the tarmac in between. And so now what's something I need to do is figure out how this part's going to work. Um, so I think I'm just going to have the stone brick out for this, and then we're going to have some bushes in front. I think would be the nicest thing to do. Um, so I need to get rid of those. There we go. So let's just bring this across like this. Actually, first let's uh, need to do about to there, right? In fact, we'll do from the there, and then we'll just do from here, uh, copy, flip, right, paste, 
Okay, I forgot to include the floor. Right now. Let's do that again. Copy, flip, right, paste. There we go. Better. So let's just put in these uh, last few bits of stone brick there. And then for the flooring in here, I'm not going to do anything with that just yet because I am actually going to lay out the floor plan. That is going to be something more probably you're going to do in this video on the next video. Um, for now, we're just going to work on the exterior. Uh, so we're going to need a staircase, right? So I'm thinking what we do is we just have a very gradual one using a smooth stone slab uh, as the uh, staircase. This will look quite cool. Because then that will just blend in with the rest of it like that. And we'll just bring this across to here. We need to take out a section of it for some bushes as well. There we go. In fact, we can maybe bring the bushes around to... Let's bring them to there. So we'll do the same over here. And we're going to need uh, azalea, that flowering azalea. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's really nice actually. Um, so this will be where the um, this will be where the main sort of. Uh, car park road is so i'm not going to make it too big i'm thinking only of just like seven so we'll do one two three four five six seven because it's not a huge station so it doesn't need a huge um car park so do uh, so, so, in fact if i just go up a few times there we go and then the same over here and the same there. Let's fill that in. Also, let's uh, fill that manually. So much time is saved with this kind of stuff because uh, this is on console. This would be half the video now. Okay, so um, I don't think we're going to have space on this side, so. That might be good. Let's have, um, this is something I haven't tried before, so this might not look the best, but let's have, because you get those things where it's like a pathway on the tarmac uh, in car parks sometimes. So we're going to try that out. It's usually uh, got some red wool uh, sort of on it. So let's uh, just get some red wool. And we'll try this out. It might look crap, it might look cool. Uh, either way, we're going to keep it for now. But I think this is actually going to look pretty cool. God, I love how like vibrant that is with the shaders. It is Zelda's vibrant shaders. The best shaders. So I'm going to bring that across like that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I do actually really like that. So we're going to keep that. And then I think let's, I guess, work on the road, right? The main road. Um, so we're going to need a, a small uh, fence or a wall or something. And I've used a lot of brick before. Um, and I don't know if I want to use that right. So I think I'm going to use uh, stone brick, right? Um, just because I feel like it's going to fit a little bit better. And then we'll use stone on top. So just go for something like that, and then actually we could even do something a bit like this. So we'll have uh, one and three, then one and three. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. Like right, this is gonna be uh, 
uh, it's going to be the road, so we'll have that uh, cut there. So then that's seven. One, two, three. And then just one, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll go and run some stone slabs over the top. Like that. Okay, should be pretty good. And now let's also uh, grab uh, the smooth stone slab again. I'm just going to go for three wide pathways because this isn't like the main sort of built up area of the city just yet. We're going to get onto that. This is sort of just like a little uh, neighborhood. I'm just going to be on the side, uh, on the side, maybe on, on like the outskirts. Uh, so this is just sort of what we got going for it for now. So these three wide paths. I could almost imagine they'd be quite, you know, run down. And then we'll do a layer of stone in front of those, like, in the floor. And then it'll be uh, onto actually working on the road design, which I know I'm done for it, because I have um, an ungodly amount of roads in my life there. So, uh, I'm just going to have that to here. Like that. Cool, cool. I'm gonna do the same here. Oops. And we'll do the whole uh, replace command again. It's uh, nice and easy. Uh, crab black wool, there we go. And I think this is looking pretty cool. So let's actually finish working on the roof, because uh, I just realized I haven't actually finished the station itself. Um, so I'm thinking, uh, once again, we go for these stone bricks, um, or not stabs, uh, stairs. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we go for stone bricks again. And we're just gonna run those across, uh, sort of like this. Um, just, you know, nice and simple. And then this is going to be like that, so we'll have um, bricks along here, and then we'll just have that slowly uh, start to slope up uh, and then in. Why am I having so much trouble with building this guy? There we go. Oh, at the top as well, of course. Um, so, we'll do the same quickly this side. But what the hell was I doing there? There we go. Uh, Yeah, it's gonna look really cool. So let's just grab uh, that and we'll do uh, from here uh, slash slash copy. And I can just paste this all the way up. So I'm using that. Nice and easy way to make groups. And then we just do that, that one there, to that one there, uh, stand on top, slash slash copy, slash slash flip, right, slash slash paste. Nice. And then what we can do is grab these stone slabs and just run uh, a line of those uh, across the top here. Like this. That looks pretty cool. And then what I'm thinking, just to make it look a little bit more sort of um, I don't know, old and not quite as simple as most buildings are now, we'll, we'll do these sort of things here to look like actual design 
uh, thing. I don't know. I, I might not like it, but we'll see. After the video, I might I might take it out. I might like it. But I'm thinking for now, I'm definitely will be playing because I quite like that. Uh, so we'll do that on all of those. There we go. Nice one. Alright, let's, um, just before we end the video, let's put a floor in here. So I think the main floor we're going to use is going to be uh, quartz. Uh, not smooth quartz, just regular quartz. Uh, oh, we could do, yeah, let's use the chisel quartz. Alright, uh, because we've got the, the brick pattern in this pack. Got a nice white floor, quite cool. There we go. Okay, awesome. Let's get rid of that. Um, okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, and then, so either side here, we'll just have a layer of stone. And then we'll have, we'll just put in some spruce planks. I'll just do the replace command again because it's nice and quick. Uh, so, so let's just replace. Uh, where are it? Uh, spruce planks. Nice. Perfect. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm really happy with that, actually. Uh, I think that's quite a nice place to end off this uh, this video. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy, please free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Um, in the next video, I'm probably just going to be working on some roads here, and definitely I'm going to be doing some interior uh, in there as well. Um, anyways, so thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.